Um, before I start this video, I'd just like to say, um, just a bit of an apology. I... I just realized my Godzilla collection video is a part one, and I completely forgot about it. And it wasn't until just recently I discovered that it had 300 views out of nowhere, and I have no idea where they, those views all came from, but I haven't made a part two to it yet. Ex until now. So, let's actually go ahead and do part two for once. Alright, so here we have the Godzilla posters. Last time I covered the figures, this time I'm covering other stuff. Here we have my Godzilla poster. We have uh, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, or not against, versus Mechagodzilla 2. I think that's the title. Anyways, it's uh, got the nice copper. I think this might actually be an official print. I don't know. Probably not. It's made of some sort of soft material. Uh, here we have Godzilla 2014 fan art. I don't know. I never understood if this was official or fan art. I think this is either concept art or fan art because the spines look, they look kind of like the 2014, but they don't scream 2014 movie accurate. Uh, here we have my Shin Godzilla poster. It's a bit ripped in some places, but overall it's in decent condition. But um, I got this at my screening of Shin Godzilla when I went to see it opening day. It was awesome. And here we have one of the n the newest poster edition to my collection, Godzilla King of Beasts. Now, this isn't actually an official poster. Well, it's based off an official poster. My sister made this all in Photoshop, apparently. So, really good job by her. She printed it out for me. It's slightly smaller than the others, but hey, there's nothing really can you can do about that. So, okay. Here's where things are going to change a little bit. There's some things I can show you, and some things I cannot. Reason why some things I cannot show you is just simply because they're either hiding around my house, or I just don't have access to them at the moment. So, let's begin with boxes. Yeah, fun. But the reason why I'm showing you the boxes is because I actually do keep my boxes. Uh, here we have two examples, the NECA Godzilla 62 box and the 2019 King of the Monsters box. Now, zooming out a bit, uh, these are really cool boxes, uh, if you guys, okay, there's red, um, if you guys don't like to keep your boxes, that's perfectly understandable, but come on, would you not want to keep something as cool as this? I mean, this literally has the poster, and this has a really detailed shot of Godzilla 2019 right here. Very, very cool stuff. That's the box for this guy. 62 is up on the shelf, but uh, he was presented last video, so... Or, last collection video, that is. Um, another thing is uh, getting the boxes out of the way. Also, these are pretty big. Like, just for size reference, here's the box compared to Godzilla himself. Yeah, it's... It's a big... It's a bit big for what you get, in my opinion. I mean, sure, he is floating, but... Come on, NECA. You can at least size down the boxes. But, um, yeah. Uh, another thing is, um, I also have a Godzilla comic. Godzilla Awakening. I've actually wanted this comic for a while. Here's the glare. I, I get this issue on all my Captain Underpants videos. I have no idea why. It's probably because the cover's very reflective. Um, I was... Uh, you know what's right... I was going to showcase this in a video, but I feared that if I showed the content inside, it's just going to be copyright, and I don't know, I'm probably going to have to, I'm gonna, I might get copyright claimed, striked or something, I don't know. But all I just know is, um, yeah, it's a very cool comic, and I wanted it for a while, I got it when I had Mothra, and um, yeah, that's uh, basically about it for uh, that. Okay, here we have something different. It is my Godzilla truck. Now, as you can see, there are some marks right here that says Godzilla, and then it has Godzilla here. Um, th this is a very old truck. This year, I'm, or next year, 
I'm going to repaint this again because actually uh, right there is a helicopter but uh yeah basically I have this race I go on or sorry not this uh this whole truck race and this year I'm entering this guy again oh no it's a bit uh it's a bit weird but um yeah I really think that this uh this truck could be uh really good if it was painted properly I don't know I think I only put one layer of paint this year I'm just gonna cover this entire sucker with green add the paint a blue to it and then go on from there because I really think this sucker could you could be excellent I don't know I have a bit of ideas also um stubby tail but uh yeah this guy pretty cute pretty neat but uh yeah let's uh let's move on so the last thing I can actually show you is this my Godzilla electronic picture now what it originally did was uh, th these two were the dorsal fins and these two lights were the beams and basically it would light up Godzilla's dorsal fins and then it would start shooting the atomic breath and then back here would be the motherboard and then a whole bunch of tangled wires and all that and Right here would be the place where we put the batteries. Um, I don't know why it has so much dust and web on it. But I dropped it and it do it hasn't worked since. I think I have a video where it does work. It's one of the my old collection videos where I actually turn it on. However, I will say I sound like a completely different person. I sound really high-pitched. So uh, expect some uh, different types of video quality depending on where you are. But, uh, yeah, it would it would just kind of light these two dorsal fin, uh, fins up, and then... Uh, I was going to do blue, but unfortunately there were no blue lights, so I had to do with what... I had to work with what I got. So, uh, yes. Uh, if you're wondering how I made it, I... I just... I actually can't remember how I made it. I do know that this I printed out on the internet. I do know that for a fact. But, uh, anyways, uh, that's about that, um... In terms of other things, I do have two Godzilla shirts. Uh, they're somewhere around the house. Uh, I think they're getting washed right now. But, yeah, that's kind of about it. I don't really have much else to say aside from... Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.